Are you guys ready to learn how to trim a brisket the easy way? Well, this one's simple today. Stay tuned. All right, to get started on our brisket that we're cooking on our Traeger overnight, you can see that I've got a beautiful prime brisket here from Costco. It cost me 52 bucks and you know, right now during the pandemic, $52 is not bad for a good looking brisket as thick as the flat is on it and everything. I'm gonna get in here and start trimming some fat off. Now, when I say an easy brisket, I'm not gonna trim a lot of fat off of this, guys. I'm gonna keep this as minimal as I can. This is just gonna be a good eating brisket. Now, if I was cooking for a comp, I'd be worried about getting all this silver skin off. I'm not worried about that. Get a little bit of this off right here. A little bit of that. Now, let me spin this brisket here where I can see it. Now, this decal on here, or the point of the brisket, it, uh, this one right here has got a really good one on it. It's not all humped up and high, what I mean by that. Now, we've got some gray discoloration on the meat here. I'm gonna trim all that off. Now we can see what we're working with on the point here. You can see that. Now, the reason I trimmed some of it off, that's just oxidized meat that's been in the packaging. There's nothing really wrong with it. Everybody trims it off. Now I'm just gonna keep going. And that little flap comes out there. I'm gonna cut that off. Keep trimming and I'm gonna lift this brisket up and trim a little bit of that off. Like I said, I'm not worried about if I was in a competition, I'd be worried about getting every little bit off. This is just a good eating brisket at home, so it really don't matter. Now, when I was talking about that fat seam in here that separates the point from the flat, I just want to come in here and kind of cut a little bit of that off and kind of see it. I'm going to roll it off like that. And I'm just going to keep coming. Turn my knife this way and go down. Now, keep on coming. I'm trying not to make any sharp edges on the brisket is what I want to wind up with. Now, that don't have a really big fat seam right here. I'm going to leave this brisket alone uh, as far as that goes. I'm going to keep trimming a little bit of this out right here just because I can feel it. Now. I'm going to come on around here and trim a little bit of this oxidation off as well. Get a little more of that off. Now, how I talked about all our grains are running this way on this brisket. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see as the grain's running, I'm going to shake this edge right here a little bit more on this thin side. Kind of peel that back. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to kind of round these edges right here. You don't have to do that, it's just something that I do. That way the juices don't pool on it and just run right off just right and it won't. When you go to wrapping it up in foil or butcher paper, you don't create any sharp edges on it. I'm not gonna get crazy like I said on the trim. Now let's turn this thing over. That's all I'm gonna do to the top of it. Now we wanna remove some of this hard fat, especially on the point end. Now you just want to get up under it and just trim down. Now I'm going to leave some of this fat. It kind of turns from a hard fat to a gel fat on this flat because I want it to stay nice and just as moist as it can be with this only being a prime brisket. I can kind of see right here where the point's wanting to feather off on top of the flat. So I'm going to leave that fat alone right here. I can feel it. It's not very 
very thick. I'm going to keep trimming this off up here on top of the point, though. And remember, pick it up and you can get in there and cut away from you. I'm going to go ahead and clean this edge up around through here a little bit on that deckle or the point. Now, when I lay that back flat, you can kind of see how that fans out right here. I'm going to keep trimming a little bit more of that off. And we're almost close to being done, folks. Like I said, I'm not trying to make this brisket look too pretty. It's just going to be a good eating brisket. And that, guys, is how you trim an easy brisket. Remember, you don't have to take 30, 45 minutes to trim a brisket. Five to seven minutes is all you need to create a good eating brisket in your backyard. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. Be sure you hit that subscribe button on that screen because that's what matters. Also, we'll be back next week with another video. Hope you like what we're doing.